With the arrival of the 20th century came a new world which Kudum was not to be a part of. Russia had already annexed the island, claiming control. The Russianization of the Crimean culture was underway, and Stalin was the reason. His goal was to completely annihilate the Crimean Tatar peoples and their culture for purposes still questionable today. I remember it was still dark. It was drizzling. Soldiers with machine guns and rifles burst into our house. One of them, I think it was a captain, with a red star on his cap, remained in my memory for long. 46 years have passed since then, but that star is still before my eyes. A soldier with a bayonet rifle kicked my mother. She fell down, and her three sons are at the front. Two youngest are gone to Karasu Bazaar for salt. She asked, can I take them with me if we meet them on the road? If we happen to meet your kids, we will shoot them. Kill immediately, was the reply. <laughs> This time we were in Simferopol. After 10 o'clock, Studebakers drove into the yard all of a sudden. Submachine gunners rushed to the door. My mother wasn't in. She went to the neighbors. I began to cry and plead them to let me go. When they were pushing me off already in the lorry body, I noticed my mother. She tried and attempted to approach me, but she was not let go. These maltreated people were pushed into freight trains, not passenger, but freight open cars. Machine guns were spearheaded against them. They were on alert until the echelon disappeared. People cried. All local folk cried because they had lived the makeup of the Crimean population in 1923 was 150,000. After the gruesome deportation of 1924, the size of the Tatar people had decreased by more than half. The Russians destroyed all Tatar libraries, museums, and landmarks in an effort to kill all remnants of the Tatar existence. Nobel Prize winner, academician Andrei Sakharov speaks. Every attempt to express a protest, deliver a message on the position of the Crimean Tatars in exile, was cruelly suppressed by the authorities. This is what a veteran of the national movement of the Crimean Tatars, Richard Jamilov, said. After the 20th Congress of 1955, in accordance with the adopted resolution on the of the deported peoples to their native lands, our people was looking forward to the implementation of that resolution. A year passed. 
There was no progress so far in that field. Therefore, our people decided to remind the party and the government of the existence of the Crimean Tatar people. Khrushchev categorically declared the Crimea would be returned to the Crimean Tatars only over my dead body. Hey, 